question. All right, and the last point I want to make, if you didn't already get that, uh, it's about video, right? I have been talking. It's not like just now because we're having success because we're finally doing it. Matt Emerson, how long have we been talking about video? They can go back to any presentation we've ever done. Look at our YouTube channel from five years ago. We've been talking about doing video. And probably yeah, we've been doing the entire time we've been running WBA. Exactly, because we do video. We do video online, but we, probably we were more about YouTube video. And then YouTube video, YouTube long form is still, I gave you the example of our, our team member who doesn't have a lot of competition is killing it. But if you already have a, a saturation of, of agents in your area that are doing well on your same marketplace, it's going to be hard to break into, I'll be honest. However, if there is an area that you can do consistent content, then the long form videos can work for you. So we use short form video. And I think it's also has a lot to do with people's attention spans, right? So we're talking Instagram reels, Facebook even went to reels, right? They went to reels because TikTok has become so powerful. And so um, it's taken so much market share away from them because they just figured out the best mousetrap. It's literally just video. Facebook is about, let's see what our friends are doing and connecting and it's posts and they try to get video working for them and it's not working as well. That's why they're trying to do reels. Instagram was always about beautiful photos. It still is. And they want to, so you see reels front and center. When you go to your Facebook page, you're going to see reels and stories, right? Stories can also work. Um, and YouTube realized kind of late that we better get into the the short term, when they saw the, the the popularity of TikTok, they started to put out shorts. But the reality is the creators over on TikTok like the interface and they like the, the way the algorithm works because they get instant following. It's really intriguing. It's literally like crack. I hate to say it, but I feel like it's it's like it's the it's 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 the crack for people that go down the rabbit hole to watch it. And it's the um uh, for the creators, they get a quicker response and, and it's built that way because they want creators so that if you start creating content, you get a little boost in the beginning. But if you don't create, if you don't be consistent and your content's no good, then you're done. OK, so there's people that do really well on all these channels because they have a niche or something that they talk about. And there are real estate agents doing really well on this, but they consistently post. And here's the deal. Two to four times a day. So if you're thinking, I can't even get one or two up a week, then this is not for you. It's okay. I'm just sharing with you what we do. We have to post two to four times a day. We have to follow up when people direct message us, ask questions. We will do video replies. People will comment. And when people comment on any of these channels, by the way, if your content gets people to like it, share it, put a comment, the algorithm for each of these entities says, ooh, here's somebody with some good content. Let's show it to more people so we can have people stay on our platform and not go over to the dreaded TikTok, okay? Uh, and that's the reality. So it must be engaging, educational, informative. I think you have to be consistent with your pillars of content. And we think you need to be in the video. You need to be in the video to be authentic, be yourself, because the way we've leveraged this is that People see us in our videos and they then watch us for months. They'll say, I've been watching you for three months and, if, and they don't comment. The majority of people, by the way, do not comment. I feel like I'm that way too when I'm on social media. It's literally, we kind of look and we lurk and we follow the people that we like, whatever your platform of choice is. And then you always have that vocal minority that are the ones that are comments. Our normal, our most negative comment is you're going to run out of water. Every video is going to have a, you don't have enough water in the West now, you know, you know, or something, whatever. So it doesn't matter. Even negative comments are comments. And so it teaches the algorithm to keep showing the content to more people. Uh, I say be in the video. We, uh, about three weeks ago, we decided to start a second channel that is just new home tours. Um, for the purposes of getting some of these to go a little bit more viral. But now we're, we did that and we're probably have 20, 22 videos on there. And now we're literally switching it to going to have us at the end. And we're trying to drive people to our other channel. So we're always testing and trying new things and so forth. And you do have to know a little bit about search engine optimization because YouTube, all these places, people type things in and they use hashtags to find the content that they're that they are looking for. So here's our case study. We are only 
consistently been posting. Cosmo started this Living Las Vegas channel earlier in the year. I was still out in Florida and he was convincing me. I, Matt will tell you, I was like, I don't know about TikTok. I was that person, you know, I mean, I'm a total techie. I totally like all of this. And I'm like, I just don't see it. But he was a year ago saying we should do this. I wish I had listened to him a year ago, well over a year ago, actually. However, since June, when I moved back here from Florida, we have been consistently posting. I'm not going to say that five days a week, we always hit it. But for the most part, we do. Um, this screenshot I grabbed a day ago, 9451 followers. As of today, we have 9,479 9, followers. Since June, guys, we've closed eight transactions just from TikTok, eight closings from TikTok. One of them, our first closing was a seller who moved to California and doesn't like California. And we just closed on a house for him that he's back in the community, the townhome community that he bought, had, that he sold his home. And he's putting a, a, a tenant in there and uh, moving back when his job requirement is up for a year. Okay. We, at, as of today, we have 21 active buyers in six months that we've either met live or via Zoom, via Zoom and they've started a pre-approval process with one of our lenders. And they're just in various stages of they need credit. Um, they want to wait till next year. They're moving in a year, all kinds of reasons. Then checking it just yesterday, 55 plus what I would call B or C leads. These are people who have reached out, out to us on the app. Have uh, We have their username or we have some bit of information. They just don't want to talk to us yet, but they're asking us questions. And so we do follow up with them. On average, two to three leads or conversations with people per week. And our content is market updates, real estate tips, neighborhood area video tours, um, you know, home tours, local info businesses, and we answer people's questions. And we also will talk about things that we like in the area. Like, uh, you know, if I'm out, like I'm going to go to a Golden Knights game this week and I'll do a TikTok while I'm there. Right. So you, you, you take advantage of it. It becomes part of what you do. You know, you're always like going, that'll make a great TikTok. That'll make a great video. And you just gather content. And then when you get to it, you get to it. All right. So this, but here's the deal. I don't want you all to get from this, like, oh, I'm going to go out and do TikTok. I'm telling you right now, don't even try this unless you really like doing video. Number one, you're willing to do it every day. And um, you, 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 you can, you can go through a learning process because it, it won't happen overnight. And by the way, if I sit and talk to you about farming, I'm going to say three to six months of consistently doing the activities in a farm, you're going to get the occasional person who wants to buy right now. All right. We have 9,400 people following us, but we only have 21 people who've talked, current people who have talked to us. All right. But the ton of people and every week we get more people that, that will call us and say, I've been watching you for five months now and I've decided I want to reach out. Okay. So that's how it works. And just since I posted that, we already have another 10 followers, right? It's because our, some of our content gets viral. Some of it just, so we look at it like this. We know how to create content that generates a lot of views and it's usually shorter content. It's, there's all these little things and about it that work over time you learn. And then the content, when people follow us, they now can come to our feed and get real education about the market. And those don't get as many views, but that builds our no like, and trust factor because we have this balance of what works and then we're educating people. And, and I always ask when we meet somebody, I'm like, how'd you find us on TikTok? What did you put in? And people will tell us and they'll tell us things like we were looking for Green Valley homes and we found your stuff on TikTok. And so then we get a sense where we have, we have a lot of first time home buyers. We feel like you've been educating us and I've been watching you for three months. So we get feedback, which gives us content for what else we should be putting up there. And uh, it just, it, it, we have fun with it. Okay. So that's what I want to kind of end with is that you must, must, must find your groove, find the thing besides staying in touch with your database that you are going to have fun doing in this business. And I know people who just kill it door knocking. I think I know about three people who do that. Okay. But guess what? Because they get up and do it every day and they like it, they get business from that. I would not do that. Here's what I would do. Hold an open house. I'm going to invite the people in the neighborhood. That's about as far as I'm going to get with knocking on somebody's door. Okay. Inviting them to the open house I'm having down the street. Okay. Okay.